Right, this is how Gifty made over £2,200 with a direct booking for 20 plus nights, which see never ever thought would work from a platform that is going to share in this client interview today. Now guys, if you are in service accommodation or short term rental business, you will love this client interview. Now, you know what, I'm putting my interviews, client interview every single week. Now, I must say not all my clients would like to come in a video, but some of them who do, I'm really grateful. Now, Gifty has actually come back after, I would say, another eight weeks after me doing a handover with her. And it's such a great opportunity. You know, I love sharing client results even after working with me after months, they are getting some serious results, um, fully booked calendars. And if you're watching this video, you wanna learn how to get a lot of direct long-term bookings, please make sure you watch it till the end. Well guys, my name is Piers from growyourbnb.com. I help operators, short-term renter owners like you all over the world to achieve more profitable bookings. So listen, let's crack on with today's client interview with Gifty. Right, guys, welcome back to another client case study. I'm very excited to have someone special, uh, very special because one of the lines he said to me early days was, because if I, I wish I had known you two years ago, right? Now, this is how we're going to start. Gifty, welcome to my client case study. How are you? I'm very well, thank you, Pierce. It's lovely to be here. Yeah, no, thank you so much for taking time out doing this. Now, just people who are watching this, by the way, we are interviewing Gifty after I worked with her on 22nd of May. I still remember May is when I onboarded her. Now we're in 19th of August, so it's a long way down, right? So firstly, Gifty, people watching would want to know who are you and your experience in the industry? Yeah. Yeah, so I'm, my name is Gifty and I've done service accommodation, service apartment for the last nearly three years. I've yeah. got my properties in Southampton. I've got um, HMOs in Bristol. But I think sure, the training sure. I, I took on was more for my service apartment um, yeah. branding and just trying to learn to market a bit better because I've yeah. been in the business, but I hadn't really invested much in marketing. I had paid for some training in different platforms, but I, I, I'm very busy. So I think... Yeah, you never never invested yourself in creating a brand, right? Yeah, so and I think... Yeah, so that's it really. No, that's it. But listen, I want to take it back a little bit because for me, just off this camera, we, we spoke about how you've been in this industry for three years. You've had landlord increasing your rent over yeah. the pandemic. So, you know, yeah. people watching this should learn this as well. It was tough for you. It wasn't easy when you know that you haven't got much booking and yeah. landlord increasing your rent. Yeah. Um, you know, you've been in the industry enough to know how it works. Um, it was quite tough, right? But you still yeah. went, you pass through the pandemic in the right way. Yeah. Um, so it's great to know. Now, look, um, I always ask this to my clients who have worked with me. Now you've worked with me, what does Grow Your BNB or branding mean to you? Like you've gone through that process. So what does this mean to you now for your business? I think what I learned from you is making sure that you kind of stand out when people are searching online. So I have my properties in Southampton. So yeah. making sure that my Google, my business kind of crawls on, on, on Google. Google when people search for accommodations. And I think there were things that I heard about, but I didn't really understand it very much. Yeah. Because sometimes when you're watching training videos, you don't have the practice. Sure. And you haven't got the time because I work full time and I do the business on the side as well. So right, having right. you doing this one to one session with me on a weekly basis yeah. really brought this things home for me. I and see. It, it made me realize that, you know, people should know what you do yeah. straight away when they pick. So for, for instance, my photos never said anything about my business. business Even brand. My, my logo wasn't as, as good. Clear. You added a bit to it to make it stand out, to tell Absolutely. my story and to say that if anybody sees my logo, they know that I'm in service accommodation. Absolutely. And I still remember when I saw your logo, I said, it's one of the quirkiest logo I've seen. Yeah, right. So I said that to you straight away. But it did, what it didn't was, again, going back into people who are watching this, branding always means something that you do once and it pays off again and again. Yeah. And that's what we wanted to do from going back into basic. Now, listen, um, the exciting part is I always say to my client, let's take it back to 12 weeks because that's when we first worked together. Mm -hmm. Prior to that, I would say you were you were doing okay. You were making some kind of profit. But one of your biggest challenges was 
the smaller bookings. Yeah. Right? That's what you were getting all the time. Empty calendars and then smaller bookings come through. So what type of bookings were you attracting then and how did you get them? I think most of my bookings were from the OTAs, booking.com, um, Airbnb. Yeah. I didn't have anyone call me on um, just on the phone to say, oh, I've just seen your your page online and I just want to know, have you got this availability? Yeah. But since doing the training with you and helping me with the Google My Business Process, page, yeah. um, the process of putting myself um, in all the direct yeah. booking platforms, right? That's so right. Now let's th- let's think about this way. I will mention this because I think it's all gone past through now. But you've made nearly like two thousand four hundred pounds from a direct booking platform, which yeah. you have never known before. Yeah. Right. And that was probably one of the biggest celebration we had while we were working together around May June time. Yeah. Now, how did it feel when you were so independently looking at smaller bookings and OTA to moving into this 20, 20, I think, was it 25 nights for 24? Yeah, it was 25 nights. Um, I think it was great because it was just one person staying in the apartment and it was easy because I didn't have to do a lot more cleaning because the thing about the small bookings is you pay more for cleaning. Sure. But if you've got a longer booking, then you can negotiate the cleaning and if the person is using it as a, a, a place to stay at home, yeah. you negotiate the cleaning and you save a lot of money on that. And also the commission um, is 18% if it's on booking.com. So sometimes I think the approach of advertising on the open rent and other places made it much easier that every money that you receive came to you, not necessarily yeah. 15% going to another person. So I think that's one of the things that I really enjoyed learning yeah because let's be honest over this three years you probably in six in five figures you've spent on commission to otas i believe so yeah 100 percent, right but having two proxies even you made yeah so in an average of 300 pound on commission if you did come from otas or the booking you would have made you know you've had spent quite a lot of money so so for me this is where i i wanted to sit down and do this interview with you because I think let's take all the numbers away. I think one of the the touching thing for me was when you said to me, Piers, actually, I wish I I would have known you two years ago. And why did you say that? Because I think the things you taught me, if I had known them two years ago, I think I would have been in a much, much better place. Mm. Um, I survived. I made some profit during the pandemic and I'm still in business, which is great. It built a lot of resilience. But if I knew the things I knew, especially in the pandemic, when OTAs shut their calendars, you, yeah. if I knew all the things you had told me, yeah. I would have really been amazed. Uh, like, I would have really, yeah, in a better, better place. Honestly, I will tell you, you know? something, Gifty, right? I mean, people who are watching this, if you haven't watched one of my interview with Lydia, who, what I showed you, we did that in pandemic with her. And for her four bedroom property, she went from zero pound, believe it or not, for 30,000 pound on direct bookings. Mm -hmm. And that was purely the way we worked together. And you can see why that worked really well for her, Mm -hmm. because everything was shut at that moment, right? So the OTA were closed, not a lot. She did some targeted branding and ads that I've shown you guys. And she banged that first booking and, you know, forever grateful that, you know, she still texts me and goes, Piers, like, without you, my business wouldn't have survived. Um, and, and this is where I wanted to always make sure that my clients like yourself are going through. Uh, or would you say you're confident enough that if OTA did close, you would still do well? Oh, yeah. Now I know what to do. And I'm, I feel like I can now scale up because I'd kind of stayed at two properties because I was just kind of so scared not to scale up and just struggle with the business but i think with the skills you've taught me yeah now i'm thinking of getting properties in bristol for service accommodation and yeah all of that so i can branch out so i think it's and i think when we started one thing you said was you're going to teach me and you're going to do it with me yeah which is what i learned because yeah. sometimes you get people who do it for you and then when they are gone you don't yeah. know what to do. What to do, yeah. But mm. I think just that weekly catch up and learning with you, I think mm. has taught me a lot. So I understand SEO now. I understand what, what, you know, I think that was 
because I sat in a lot of trainings and um, yeah, mentoring sessions. Yeah. Yeah. And they said all of that, but it didn't make sense until you really sat me down and I just and kind of... You. Yeah, you were quite yeah. surprised in that session when you to understand about how the SEOs and the keywords yeah. work yeah. for our industry, for service yeah. accommodation and short-term rental industry. Yeah. So, no, amazing. Look, um, now I think where, where we've gone from there to I've done a handover with you, and let's be honest, this month in August, you're pretty much fully booked. I'm so booked, yeah. One of your property is actually booked towards mid-September already. Yeah, right? end of September, actually. End of September. So what type of customers or guests are you serving right now? I think at the moment, because of staycation, there's a lot of holiday makers, but we've got people coming in for longer than two weeks, um, coming from abroad, staying there just for family breaks. Yeah. But then we also have people coming for business. Exactly. So I think the target is to attract more contractors and I've had yeah. a few contractors who are ringing and coming back because of you know the experience we've had with them yeah, you've had them okay brilliant yeah. so listen now lastly coming to this call um and people like you know people would love to know this is if you were doing actually you were doing well by the way you were on one of my clients who go I've got empty calendar I don't have bookings why did you invest in your brand and especially when you were doing okay with your you know your calendar and your bookings really you really shouldn't if you were making money like i know people going i'm, I'm doing okay why should i bother doing branding why did you invest on this because I, I i believed in the business and i believe that you know you just don't have to stay in a mediocre level mm. i felt that yeah i was surviving i was making um you know i was making profit and yeah. i was all right you know but i if i needed to scale up and make yeah. it bigger then i need to understand branding and i need to be able to understand it to transcend it into my other areas of business as well 100 and i think when mark interviewed you on his platform yeah. the Boosty, um yeah. the Boosty academy platform yeah i think the level of simplicity and how you explain things yeah, I, I kind of felt like, oh gosh, I think I want to give it a try because yeah. Yeah, it seemed like what you're saying, it was realistic. And when I had that call with you, you were kind of realistic yeah. and I didn't feel that there was a sense of hype. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, yeah Whereas so, there's a lot in the industry. which and, we Yeah, should... yeah. So for me, I think that whatever I've learned is just to make the business better in the future because I believe that this is not, a, it's, I, I'm only beginning, it might yeah. be, I wish I had known you two years ago, but I think I know, the steps are I know, But this is the beauty. Well, you've done it. You've invested it. We know that things are working for you. But listen, thank you so much, by the way, for taking time out doing this, sharing your story to people who are, you know, brand new, but people like yourself who've been in the industry long enough to go, I understand the model, right? But you still came back and went, right, there's a different opportunity now for my business and you invested in it. So look, I'm really grateful. Thank you so much That's for investing okay. with Grow Your BNB and myself. And we, you know, we have thoroughly enjoyed working with for yourself. So Gifty, uh, thank you so much for doing the interview. And look, I'll look forward to catching up soon. No, thank you. That's great. Bye. Take care. Bye bye. Right. Now, as you've seen from this client interview, the best thing I've ever heard from my client saying is, wish I knew you two years ago, right? So she started a business nearly two years back in 2019, I think. So to know that this client who's invested all her time effort running this, building this service accommodation business to now actually working with me to grow her business, to get more profitable booking, Guys, we work with a range of clients starting from, you know, who are just starting launching properties to people like Gifty who's been in the industry long enough and still needed a lot more help. Now, if you'd like more profitable booking, I'm gonna leave my link down below. Please make sure you book a free demo call. It's with myself. I actually go through every single thing in your business and your brand right now and explain you why you're missing opportunities or I can even tell you that you might be doing really well. So guys, I'd love to hear from you. Please make sure you book a free call with me. Send me a message on my Facebook if you'd like to have further more chat. But for now, I'll be back with another video soon.